Have you ever needed to remove features off of a model, like small fillets, to do like a simulation? Well, this is where the simplify command comes into play. So let's take a look and see how it works. So there might be times where you need to simplify your model, whether it's to remove features for an FEA simulation or to make your drawings easier to read, for example. So in this first example, I'm going to want to remove some of these, like, for example, small fillets and chamfers that are on this model. And you'll notice that this was an imported model. There is no history or timeline associated with this model. So I'm going to go under the modify menu and about two thirds of the way down is this simplify. And you'll notice I can remove features, faces, or replace with primitives. So I'm going to show all three of these. So I'm going to start out with remove features. Um, the first thing it's asking for is which body. So I'll go ahead and select the body. And by default, it checks fillets, holes, and chamfers. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck all of these to start out with. So the first thing I want to remove are these fillets. So I'm going to go ahead and just check the fillets. And you can see a lot of coloration going on. And the feature size slider right here is kind of the magic that makes this thing happen. So I can drag this left or right and change the size of the feature that I want it to select. So you'll notice if I drag all the way to the left, it's not selecting anything. And it's, in, it's going to go from small to large. So as I start to drag to the right, it's grabbing the smallest fillets. And if I keep dragging to the right, it's going to go to the next largest fillet, etc. So if I keep dragging, it's going to gra start grabbing some of these other fillets that are on this model. So I'm going to drag to the left, and I just want to start with these little fillets, and I'll click on the delete icon there. And you can see that it removed those small fillets that were all the way around this model. And now it's kind of highlighted the next largest feature, or fillet feature in this case. And I don't want to remove those. So those are large enough to be part of my FEA simulation. So I'm going to leave those. Now the next thing I want to remove are the chamfers. So I'll go ahead and click on chamfer. Now there's only um, just the small chamfers on this design, so it doesn't matter how far I crank the slider, but you can see that it automatically selected all of the chamfers that are in this design. So I'll go ahead and click on delete, and we've just that quickly removed the small fillets and chamfers out of this design, and we can now um, run this for our simulation. So in this next example, we're going to use the simplify command to take a look at this sheet metal component right here. So let's go ahead and isolate it. And we want to remove uh, a lot of the features of the sheet metal box. We just want just a basic box in this example. So we'll go to modify, simplify, and remove features. We'll select the body. And in this example here, let's start with the holes. So I'll specify the hole feature option, and I'll start to drag until we can kind of see some of the holes start to highlight. And once again, you can kind of see we can start with just the small holes to start out with. And if I keep dragging, it'll get the next size larger. And if I keep going, it'll then add in all of the holes on this sheet metal component. So I'll go ahead and do that and select the delete option. And we've removed all of the holes. Now you'll notice it didn't remove these slots, and that's because those aren't officially holes, those are extrusion features. So I'm gonna change the option to extrude, and we can see that it selected some of the features on the sheet metal component. And if I keep dragging, you'll see it'll start to select some of the slots, or the air vents, I should say. So I'm gonna drag back, so it just grabs everything except for the air vents. I'll hit delete. And you'll notice it removed those slots and everything else except for the air vents. And I can also drag this so it's only selecting, for example, the smaller vents over here and not selecting the larger vents. So using this slider really does give you the power to select what you want to remove in your design. So we could, re we could remove all of the smaller vents 
and leave the larger events if we wanted to. But in this case, we want to remove everything. So I'll go ahead and hit delete. And you can see that it created all of these features in the timeline for the simplify feature. And we can come back and, you know, step back or we could unsuppress any of these simplified features and bring them all back if we wanted to. Okay, let's take a look at another example here. Under the simplify, we have remove faces. And this is kind of like a deleting a feature. So, for example, we have this slot right here. I'm just going to go ahead and select on that there and hit delete. And you can see how it allowed me to delete that fillet. Uh, I'll go ahead and select um, multiple faces. So I just clicked on those there. I'll hit delete and it removed all of those. So, for example, I could select, you know, the fillet and this flat face. I'll go ahead and hit delete and it removes those slot features out of there. So it's kind of a quick way to remove some features that you might not want in your design. The last option in the Simplify menu is Replace with Primitives. And what this allows you to do, so for example, I have all of these um, tool changers in here. I'll go ahead and just select on one of these, and it allows you to replace a complicated shape with a primitive, whether it's a cylinder, a box, or a sphere. So in this case, it kind of makes sense to do a cylinder. And I'm just going to kind of change this size here until um, it's about the same as the overall cylinder, which in this case looks like to be about 1.1. Um, so I'll just do 1.1 like so. I'll hit OK and it's going to replace all of those with a cylinder. So it just simplifies the overall design. Instead of having those complicated shapes, it replaces them with simple primitive cylinders. And then in the last example, this is kind of where I use Simplify the most. So I might have a design uh, where I'm designing an enclosure uh, for a Raspberry Pi board, and this is the board I downloaded off of GrabCAD. And unfortunately, you'll notice it is one body. These are not individual components or anything like that. Um, it would take me a very long time to simplify this, to, to delete these manually. I mean, you can see there's all these are individual holes. All of these are like little filleted um, you know, solder joints and little tiny transistors and resistors, all this kind of stuff. And if I were to create, for example, a drawing that had this in there, Fusion has to calculate all of this geometry for my drawing. And all I really care about is the overall size of the board and then maybe like the larger components, like where where all of the pins are and the, the you know the USB and, and Ethernet port and all that kind of stuff. So I want to simplify this design to simplify my drawings. So I'll use Simplify and I'll start with removing features. So I'll click on the body and maybe the first thing I want to do is remove the holes. Now this is a complicated model so you can see that um, it's going to give me a working dialog. So I'll select hole and Let's just take a look at this so I can kind of zoom up and I'm going to start to drag and still it's, until it starts to highlight some of the whole features. And there we go. Now I'm going to go back until it just does these small holes because I want to remove all of those holes and I'll hit delete. Now this is going to take some time. Uh, so I'll probably speed up the process um, as it's working. And there we go. Um, that took about 30 seconds for that to process, but you can see that it removed all of the small holes off of the board. So we've already simplified quite a bit of it. Now the next thing I want to do is remove some of these small features. Um, and I can do that with the extrude option. So I'm going to turn off hole and I'm going to drag this to the left. That way it doesn't select a lot of the large stuff. And then I'll click on extrude. And we can see already that it picked some of the really small fillet features 
um, on the bottom of the board. So I'll go ahead and start to drag this up and we kind of see what it's highlighting. There it's starting to pick some of the electrical components. So I'm just going to kind of keep going until um, I don't want it to select the, you know, for example, I guess I could, well, let me go back just a step like so. We'll go to there. And once again, I'll hit delete. This might take some time, so I'll speed up the process in the video. Okay, so that one took a little bit longer. That took about three minutes to calculate. Um, let me drag this back so we can kind of see where we're left with. Um, so now it's simplified pretty cleanly. And what I would do now um, is use this manual features. And you can actually click on individual uh, features like this. I'm only clicking on one face and it'll grab these individual features. Um, I could I could do the extrude again if I wanted to, but I sometimes find this almost just as fast uh, to click on. That way it's not grabbing the, the features that I don't want it to grab. Uh, whoops such as like the um, these little pins, for example, I want to keep those. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly click on some of these. And let's just call that good. I'll hit delete and you'll see it'll remove those features out of the design. Maybe we'll do that one also and we'll leave everything else. And now I have a simplified design that has the main features that I want. You know, I've got my mounting holes, I've got my USB ports, I've got my pinouts um, and my basic board layout, um, but I don't have all of those holes and I don't have all of those electronic components that'll slow down my, my drawing creation or even my rotation, et cetera, as it's having to calculate all of those features. So this is how you can use the simplify tools for like simulation prep or for simplifying your models to send to a customer where you don't want them to have all the proprietary information of the design or to simplify even your drawings, for example. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos. If you need help learning Fusion, visit my webpage at cadedllc.com. And as always, have fun learning Fusion.